Hello everybody, um, on this video we're going to learn how to install LAMP on an existing droplet. This droplet right now only has Ubuntu 14.04 and I already ran the sudo app get update command to bring all the resources, resources up to date. Now, there's an easier way to install LAMP um, than, you know, we, I'm going to do it here on the um, command line. But the easiest way to get LAMP on your droplet is basically to create a new one. So in order to create a new one with LAMP, we'll create create droplet, um, one click apps, and select LAMP on 14.04. This means it'll install LAMP on Ubuntu 14.04. Then we'll scroll down, click it, choose the size. Um, you can choose a data center region and then add your key, change your name if you want to, and click on create. The only difference, um, between the first drop, your first droplet, droplet, and this one is that we just selected, you know, one-click apps. That's it. Um, you don't have to click on distribution. You can. It'll. This will be installed install on Ubuntu 14.04. All right. But let's say that you know we created our droplet. Um, we have some stuff there. We don't want to destroy that droplet, or we want to keep using the same droplet. That's fine. Okay. Let's then. You know, run over the instructions to or the commands to install this. So, what we want to do first is to do, we're going to do, I already did the update, but let's just do it again to see if um, we need some updates, if I still need some updates. So, sudo up get, um, it's getting um, some updates, so looks like there are some updates it's still needed. Um, we're going to just wait wait this out. Should not take a, um, that long. All right, finish. Now we're going to install Apache. So, just so you, um, you install, so LAMP is Linux, Apache, um, PHP and MySQL. So we're right now we're going to um, install this. And LAMP basically is, is a group of open source um, source software that is installed together to enable um, enable a server to host dynamic websites and web apps. Um, as I mentioned before, L is for Linux, A for Apache Web Server, um, MySQL databases, um, the M and the P for PHP. Um, okay, so. We already did the updates. Now let's do sudo app get install Apache 2. Why to continue? Yes, I want to continue. All right. Now for the purpose of this project, we're going to be um, hosting a static website. Um, so we are going to install LAMP all the way through because that's, you know, um, something we need to do. Um, or not something that we need to do, but that's something we want every time we, um, that's some most of the resources we want when um, serving or hosting um, either a static or a dynamic page, okay? Um, so, but bear in mind that after we install everything, we're simply deploying um, a static site or a static website, all right? So, next step. I already installed Apache. Now I want to install MySQL, MySQL and PHP. But before we go there, notice that since I already have Apache um, installed, I can go to my browser, copy this IP address, and paste it on the browser, hit enter, and it's going to bring me the Apache 2 default page. So um, Apache has been successfully installed on my, on my um, droplet. All right. So Let's continue. MySQL now. So we'll do sudo 
app dash get space install space mysql dash server space php5 dash mysql enter y to continue yes Hit enter. Okay, now. Now we're going to do the following command, the sudo mysql underscore install, oops, install underscore database. So basically what we're doing with this command is that we're creating a database directory structure where all the information will be stored. All right, so We this cool um, successfully now um, we want to run a simple security script that will remove some the dif um, dangerous defaults and lock down access to our database. So we'll do sudo space mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Um, if you hit enter, uh, you should um, just a reminder. Remember to when that purple screen pops up hit enter um, now now it's going to ask for a password so let's type in a password um, kind of a strong password you know um, something you won't easily forget um, and notice that as I'm typing the password you won't see it on the screen um, I, I do not see it. You won't see it, but the ta password it is, it's been typed. Hit enter. Oh, okay. So current password for root. Um, if you click, yeah, um, enter on the purple screen, just hit, um, enter for none again. So set, um, so in this case, now we want to change it. So click Y. Yes. I want to set root password. Yes. Click or Y and new password, then type it in. Again, you won't see the password, but it's it it is being typed. And once more, do you want to remove um, anonymous users? Um, you know, yeah, I'll type in no. But but by default, you have this anonymous users you know created. So I'll remove them. Oh, wait, I think I. All right, so I did it. <laughs> I thought I was removing them, but, you know, they're still there uh, for the purpose of this um, tutorial. Nothing will go wrong, but you should click hit Y and remove that anonymous servers. Um, so in this case, I will be um, I will disallow login remotely. So yes, why? Um, why as well? And reload all the payload tools. Yes, why? Yes. All right. So we have that. Cool. So notice that after installing MySQL, this page should still be up and running. All right. So now I have Apache. I have MySQL. Now. The only thing remaining is to install PHP. All right, so let's do this. So let's do sudo app dash get install PHP 5, whoops, PHP 5, space lib apache 2 dash mod PHP 5, PHP 5 dash my 
MC crypt. Mcrypt, sorry. Uh, enter. Oh, I have a typo here again, so I'm sorry for this. Um, so it's, it's supposed to be the C before the H. Yeah. Now it should work. There we go. Why to continue? All right, so now let's check. Let's see if everything's still working in our, our Ubuntu page. It is working. Cool. Awesome. All right, so. Now, in most cases, we'll want to modify the way that Apache serves files when a, when a directory is requested. Um, currently, you know, the way this is set up, um, Apache will, will first look at a file called index.html, and we can leave that, or we can, um, you know, tell, PHP, um, tell Apache to look for an index.php first. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll do sudo nano etc apache two mod enabled dir dot com, and we have this. And now what we want to do, you'll see that we have this, and we want to do actually is to is grab, type in here index.php space and go all the way down here and delete this space. Right, no, make sure that everything looks like this. We'll do control X. Um, I, um, y for yes to save, um, um, to save the file, yes. Um, enter to leave the file name the same. And all right, perfect. Now, Oops, I'm sorry. Let's restart Apache, and we'll do sudo service Apache to restart. Awesome. All right. Now, we are going to install some PHP modules um, to enhance, basically, the functionality of, P of, of PHP. Um, and, you know, let's do apt dash catch search php 5 dash basically these are most of our m modules we have here um so you know let's say i'm gonna you can install and you to see what all um the modules do you can do for example apt catch show php5 cli and it'll give you an explanation of what does that this C cli module does um and let's go ahead you know and basically you know it's the cli is kind of a lump command line interpreter for php5 script and language um so it's useful for testing php scripts from a shell or performing general shell or general shell scripting scripting task um, but let's go ahead and install that one. Um, so we do sudo app dash get space install php space php5 dot dash cli. Sorry, It'll, that will install perfect. Now let's go ahead and um, test our web our php on our page. All right, so let's do this following. Let's do sudo. So now, okay, no. Now, notice before that. Notice that I'm still on my root. If I do an ls, my wops, 
Thin 30 static website is still there. Perfect. I, um, but also notice that notice that I, I will have to move all my files into our, what's called the web directory and or the web root. <clears throat> so in Ubuntu, the directory is located inside slash bar. So we'll do we'll change directory into where uh, Ubuntu um, lo um, saves or has this web root. It's bar v a r then slash dub 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 slash html. Notice that the only thing we have right now here is the index html and that index html is giving us basically right now this information all right now i'm going to create let's create a simple php file um so let's right here let's do nano info.php this is a blank um file and all we want to do is create it to pull the PHP information. So we'll do. So this is the way you open a PHP file. Enter we'll do PHP info. This is to grab a function to grab the PHP information and close PHP tags. All right. So now we'll do Control X. And we'll say um, we'll type in yes. We want to save this and we will call info PHP. Enter. Cool. Now, we'll go back into our view, but notice now that at the end, I'm going to slash dot info dot PHP. And this is bringing me my current version of PHP and inside Ubuntu. All right. Congratulations. We've successfully, successfully um, installed LAMP inside our... Um, droplet. Now, let's serve that website we've been talking about. Okay, so first things first. In my case, I'm going to go back into my root directory. Notice that I'm in root now. Um, and I'm here on root. I'm going to clear this. So I'm in root because this is where I have my, where I clone my Watson 30 repo. All right, I want to move this repo inside to var dub 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 slash html all right so notice that now my root directory is empty but if i change directory to slash bar dub 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 slash html and i do an ls i have my watch 1030 static website there that's all i wanted that's nice now Something we can start testing out is that if I go to this droplet IP, to my droplet IP address and do slash watts 1030 dash static dash website slash 2048, my, my, I'm already serving my website here and I'm serving the 2048 game, right? So it's an HO5 game. Now, but I don't want my users to have to memorize this whole long URL. So I'm going to configure my subdomain and I'm going to make a subdomain on my domain manager and I'm going to, you know, create it and then give them access throughout that subdomain. All right. I'm, I've been using for a while now Google Domains, so I already created an A record um, on Google Domains that I created. Um, so my subdomain is, I'm going to type it here. My subdomain is 248. My domain is gentlegeekstudios.com. That's my professional portfolio site. It's still under construction. Um, I have, I'm making some updates. So if I go there, I'm getting the, the Ubuntu defaults page, all right? Um, but this is the link I want to share with my, the subdomain I want to share with my users. So I'm going to configure this on my droplet. So every time I get here, I'll actually go directly inside the game. All right, 
Cool, right? So, I'm here. All right, so now what we have to do is the following. I'm going to do the following. I'm going to do a copy since, first of all, I'm going to show you that if I go to now CD um, slash ETC Apache to sites available, I have the following things here. I have a default configuration file and I have a default SSL configuration, configuration file. This default configuration file is the one that's Apache serving right now or or hosting right now, I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to do a copy of the default 000-default.conf, and, and I, what I want to copy is 248.gentlegeekstudios.com. Remember that you'll type here, you'll type here your own subdomain. I'll hit enter, do an ls, and notice that, oh, Okay, I did a mistake, so I'm going to remove this one and do the copy again. So at the end of the .com, you want to do .conf, so configuration file, C-O-N-F. Now I have 248gentlegeekstudios.com.conf. All right, and I'm going to do nano 248, and it's bringing me this, and I have document root, HTML, and here on the after the L, I'm gonna do a slash, and I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna copy. I'm sorry about this. I'm gonna type in watts 1030. What I had earlier on my um, on my URL, if you remember. Whoops, sorry about that again. So watts 1030 dash static dash website slash 248. Cool. Now. I'll do server admin will be my your email. So I'll just type in here your email.com and we'll do here server name will be your subdomain. So server name will be 248 gentle. I think I have this copied. Yep, let me erase this two over here. Awesome. Cool. cool. Control X to exit. It will ask you to save. Y to save. Enter to leave that name as it should. All right. Cool. Now, just to finish this, we're going to do um, sudo a2n site to, and this basically. What is going? What is th what this is doing right now? That command of doing the sudo um, a2 and site. We're enable enabling our sites. So once that's enabled, or once that configuration file is enabled, oops, here, enter. We have to do sudo service Apache to restart, and it's going to restart Apache. And uh, we have that OK message. It's great. Now we'll go back into our link. We'll refresh this. And our game is up on our subdomain. Awesome. Great. If you got this, um, I hope, I mean, I hope you, this helps um, throughout, um, helps you understand step by step how to get this done. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how to, and I'm going to, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, um, I'm using, I'm going to serve this, this same site under a different subdomain that I'm calling dynamic. Notice that dynamic, that it's pointing to my same droplet, but I'm, I'm I want to, I want you to see how I can use the same droplet to serve two different web page but again in my case I'm gonna be serving the same one but to see that something's different I'm showing you a different um, subdomain all right so what I want to do now notice that after all the steps of 
to a different website inside the same job, but it will be the same. It's basically going into um, the var www.html um, directory and clone a new your new GitHub or add your files here. After you do that, you might want to go into um, etc change directory into etc Apache two sites available and do a and do an ls and do a, a blank copy of the default files. Um, and in this case, notice that we already did 2048.gentlegeekstudios.com. Now notice that my new subdomain it's called dynamic. So I'm going to create a new configuration file based off the default conf called dynamic dot gentle geeks geek studios dot com again dot after the dot com dot c o n f dot com enter and do a nano with um with dynamics and I have this and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I did so I'll do server name here and it'll be dynamic gentle geek studios Dot com. I'm going to leave this enter here. I'm going to leave server admin same name and I'm going to do a slash here. Um, in this case, I'm doing whoops, W here, web start um, 1030 website and then slash whoops, 2048. Uh, Control X, Y to save. Control X to exit, Y to save. Enter to leave the name and I'll do the same commands I did earlier. Um, I'll do a sudo. Oops. sudo to inside but in this case the a2 n site will be to enable dynamic gentle geek studios dot com dot conf and then I'll do sudo service Apache to restart I'm looking for this okay message I got that go back into Chrome refresh my dynamic and, and whoa All right, let's see if it's taking a while. Let's check out the comp file again then, just make sure that everything's in order. So we do nano, dynamic, dynamic gentle geek studios, dot com, dot com. Um, let's make sure that we have no typos here. So we'll do an ls. And my size should be dynamic. Yep, that looks okay. Um, all right, let's troubleshoot this real quick. So we're going to open. So this, if this happens, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open. Yep, so I'm just checking that the name are okay. You know, so Gentle Geek Studios. Gentle Geek Studios. All right, now I'll do a Nano Dynamic and open this. Oh, yeah, now here we go. My typo is right here in my, on my comp file. So a T here. Now I can exit. Yes, I want to save, enter, and I'll do sudo um, a whoops a to insights dynamic conf. It's already enabled. All right, cool. Now I do sudo service. Apache to restart. I'm waiting for that okay message again. All right, there it is. Now let's try this. Um, all right, so weird. Okay. So
All right, back to the drawing board then. All right, so let's take a look again at the file here. Um, notice that until oh yeah yeah we still have a typo. I'm sorry about this. Um, we don't want the C here. So let's just I'm I'm gonna show, double check this again. So dynamic dot gentle geek studios dot com. Um, I'm gonna put here webmaster at email dot com just in case. Um, and that's and the document root is going to to the place I want it to go. So control X to exit. Control X to exit. Um, yes, I want this Y to save. Enter for the same name. Now I'll do. It'll tell me it's already enabled, but I want to make sure, and I'm going to restart this. And again, I'm waiting for that OK message. Perfect. OK. Now I should be able to go into... Ah, here we go. Perfect. All right, guys. So notice that I'm using the same droplet to host two different or in the, um, two different um, um, codes, but... Or, you know, uh, the same code but I'm using two different um, subdomain and basically the way to do it is to create two different conf files so if you're looking into serving multiple websites using only one job this is a way to do it um, so I hope this helps have fun bye bye guys